everyone. This tutorial is going to show you how to get on to Google Teams from home. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you from a desktop or a laptop and also from a Chromebook, depending on what you have at home. So the first thing you have to do is, of course, make sure you're signed in under your DSBN username because that's how you're going to get into the meeting. So remember, you can verify it by going to make sure you have the bookmarks, clicking D2L and getting to that page. So I'm going to scroll down to where my teacher has put the meeting. So here you can see it's the Teams. I'm going to click here. Now, if I'm on a desktop or a laptop, this is what I might get as my opening screen. So number one is we actually probably don't want to open Microsoft Teams because unless you have the program downloaded, this isn't going to work. So what you want to get used to is just continue on this browser. And this is going to be the same thing on a Chromebook or on a desktop. So let's click on this. Now here's where you're going to see two different things depending if you're logged in properly or not. Number one, because you can see my little avatar here, I am logged in. So when I go into the meeting, I don't have to set my name or anything because that will happen automatically. I'm just going to turn off my mic. Now if I do need to check my sound settings, I go into devices. And over here is where I can choose which microphone I'm using, whether it's just coming through there. Sometimes I'm going to have uh, two different cameras on my laptop, depending on what I have. So I might have to switch what that is. I only have one in here, so that's the only choice I get. So you can check your device settings there and even test your speakers. So I'm going to click join now. And that's going to let me into the meeting. So we're waiting for others to join because no one else is here right now. So that's the first step on a laptop or desktop. We're going to switch over to the Chromebook view now to see what it looks like from there. Now, if we're on a Chromebook, it's automatically going to choose the web version because that's all a Chromebook is. There is no download version for Teams on here. Now, when you go in here, you can see it's a very different view. So there you can see my camera's on. I'm going to turn that off and turn the microphone off as well. So it's a different view because I'm not signed all the way in onto this Chromebook, okay? So even though I do see the student's bookmark up here, this looks a little odd to me. And it's just because I haven't logged into Teams properly, but we're going to give you that chance. So right now, it just says Kyle Guest. So I'm going to click Join Now. Now notice that says we're waiting to let you in. That's because my teacher has turned on that lobby, so it won't let me in. Now here's what I want you to do, though. Notice there's up here it says you can please sign in. We want you to sign in because you're going to have more access to tools. So I'm going to go click sign in. And it's going to go to the user information for you. So you probably have done this multiple times signing into your account. So my student is already in there automatically. And you'll have to add your password. Now notice it has my symbols for that student and it's gonna be yours. So you'll see your symbols there for your Google stuff. Now, when I click join now, it says we're letting people know that means your teacher got that little notification about the lobby. I'm gonna let you in. And there you go. And now you can see that the teacher's in there. Now I'm in, it says I'm an attendee, so I can't share my content or anything, but that's okay. The teacher may switch that on and off for you, depending on what the activity is. But let's go through a couple of these uh, tools so you can see what it is you can do here. So number one, this is how we turn our camera on and off. So if I turn this on, you're gonna see me. There I am, but notice I'm down below. So. If I turn the teacher one on, it's going to look a little different because it's aimed at me over here. You can see now I'm in big screen mode. So what you're seeing now is the teacher view. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off so it's not so distracting. Now, over here, this would be a share your screen. Right now, this teacher has a set off, so you won't be able to share your screen. But let me show you these three little dots because in these three little dots are some additional tools you might need during your meeting. So number one, show the device settings. That's where if you have a problem with your video or your audio, if you click on there, you can go in there. And same thing like when you set it up before, you can kind of go in and see some of the problem solving with your speakers or your camera. You can click on those and change those around. So another tool you can see is there's a raise hand feature. So if I click on that, this is what your teacher immediately sees on their screen. So this is the teacher view and notice I can see that you've raised your hand. So as a teacher, I can go into the people or the chat and kind of see what's going on for that notification. I can see there it is, your hands up. And if you forget, I can always lower your hand as well. Then you also have the chat feature. 
And remember that based on your class norms, you may or may not be using the chat at a certain time. But when someone writes something in there, it will eventually pop up in the chat. But listen to your teacher, she or he may want you to not use the chat while they're teaching. And there might be a time where they want you on the chat because you're going to be collaborating and having conversations. The other thing here is these show the participants as well. So when you click on the participants, you may or may not see someone raising their hand. So there you can see the teacher raise their hand. So you just kind of have a view where you can see that there. And then of course, to finish it off, there is the hang up button. When I hang up, this means that I will exit the meeting. So when the teacher asks you to log off, there you go, you're now logged off. And of course, you could always rejoin that meeting using this join button here. Once you do though, you have to go through the same things you went before and just hit join now. And that is how you get into and out of your meetings from D2L on Teams.